Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today it is day four in my Minardi week and if you don't know who I am or what a Minardi week is, my name is Lisa, I'm a cruelty-free YouTuber and I'm playing with all my Minardi palettes this week. And today I am going into Killer Purr, this is my least favorite palette from Minardi. It's their like neutral bigger palette, they did a smaller neutral six pan palette that is not available anymore, but this was their neutral palette. I think the theme is like good. It's like fitting the front and everything, but it's just the name and yeah, everything just puts me off. So I'm going to do a palette bingo with this one because I have no idea what I want to do, but I don't know if the palette bingo is a great idea, but that is what I'm doing. So I am going to generate five numbers and um, I will try to remember them. I like don't know. I have a kind of good memory or head maybe. The older I get the worse the memory gets. Okay, I hope you can see this. So 9, 8, 10, 1, 6. Are you ready? <sighs> it's brown. Okay, so I will start with the brown. <laughs> Actually, want I am going to start with this yellow and take it in my inner crease and then I'm going to take I think this one in the rest of my crease and I think it feels like it's just one way to go with this and it's not in a good direction I don't know if it could get any more boring than this with this palette I feel like this was... Yeah, I got all like the typical brown shade for this one, but... If it is palping, though, it is. The next video that I think is going to come up tomorrow... Or maybe... I don't know. My tomorrow. That it's going to at least be a little bit more colorful because it's with the pastel pop. Maybe I should stop talking so much shit about this palette because like nothing is wrong. The shadows like perform as their other shadows, but it's just the color story. I have said this before, I wouldn't have bought this palette if it wasn't for being a minority palette so and I'm going to take this one in the rest of my crease I hope this is not too dark but maybe like on the eye the shadows might look a little bit different I don't know yet but I feel like sometimes a brown shade can be something really different on the eye Let's take the yellow and blend them a little bit more together. I'm starting to second guess my decision of taking the yellow in the inner corner like that, but I think we just have to wing it and see. But sometimes when I start a makeup look, I am like, what? Hey, what the hell have I done? So now I will go in with Mighty Roar, this one, and Lioness on the rest of my lid. So yeah, I am doing a half cut crease again today. So I'm taking Mighty Roar and take it up here. And then I will go in with Lioness, this shimmer, and take it on the rest of my eyelid. I think this palette would have been more fun if it was like a more colorful shimmer as well. 
like if maybe it would have been a green shimmer a dark green shimmer I think that would have been really nice in this palette but it is what it is okay, I might should have cut this crease I think it's working but it's like taking some time to build this one up I don't know high, how high up I want to take it into the yellow or if I want to try to take the yellow on top of this one We'll just take the mighty roar and do like this And then take Lioness the shimmer one Do like this And then I will go in with the yellow one. I almost said purple and green. The yellow one, tap it off a little bit and just smudge this a little bit onto here. And then take the brush where I had the shimmer and just go over a little bit. I'm not super thrilled about the yellow it feels it feels I don't know but I think when I do the under eyes and take the yellow in my inner corner and then down a little bit on my lower lash I think it will look better so I will fix my base and then we do the under eyes together and see if it feels better but I think it will when I have the yellow to connect because now I just feel little bit odd so time for my base so much better with face on so for my lower lash i will go in with pride because i haven't used it and also this yellow to i mean in my inner corners so i'll start with pride just underneath my eyes i will tap this off and i think this is going to be kind of warm brown But I think it will go together with the yellow good, so I'm just hoping for that. And then I'm going in with the yellow shade. And we'll see how much this will show when I'm not having a sticky base. Do you know what? I actually think I kind of like this look. So I will pop something in my inner corners. No, not my inner corners. On my watch line. I don't know if I want to take a brown or if I want to take lighter yellowish. I think I might take this one from Colourpop. It is extra frosting. Okay, this was almost white. So I will pop on some mascara and try to choose a lippy and then I come back with a complete look with a killer pearl. For my lips I did go with a KVD Vegan Beauty Liquid Lipstick in Ludwig. This was my all time favorite way back and <laughs> I don't know if this is my thing anymore. And then I took a Shine Lip Liquid from Body Shop in Apple Taffy over. I really like this one. So yeah, this is the finished look, palette bingo look with the Killer Pearl. And you know what? I actually like this look. <laughs> What's wrong with me? But I like the yellow. I think it did a lot when I took it on the lower lash. And it is good browns in this. Like this Mighty Roar that I have out here. It's my favorite kind of brown I think and the shadows are really good I think they are in the quality that their other shadows are but it's just like this is not my favorite thing to play with and sometimes I feel with in the brands like Minari they do super colorful fun palettes and then they came out with like a neutral palette and I get that they want to have a neutral palette in their line 
I get that maybe it gives them some new customers, but at the same time, I'm sitting really close. I can see that now. Can I just scooch back a little? I don't need to be that upfront. Um, but at the same time, I feel like people that buy from Nardri is might not people that want this in their life. And I think that is a lot with like other in the brands as well. I think if you like browns and you like more neutrals, I think you have other brands that you like more. And if I'm going to be honest, <laughs> browns are like, you can have like 500 different greens, but browns, I don't think you can have 500 different browns, but maybe you can, but it's not, whatever. I don't know if I think that Menari needs this palette. It is good. It works good. The yellow, I like it. And it did stick on my lower lash even if it wasn't sticky so overall it is a good neutral palette it's not what i'm looking for when i'm buying from nori i hope you get what i mean so okay i think i'm just going to end the video here i hope that you liked it and i maybe it will not come a video tomorrow i think i might put it up this weekend instead but then i'm going to play with Pasta poop, and it's going to be fun. So now my neutral self will leave you. I hope you liked this video, and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. I would love to have you as a subscriber, and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye.